fuel for Silicon Angle coming here, bringing you the CES experience live from CES 2010. Uh, we are here at the Intel booth, and again, I'm not going to do right now very many product reviews, but I want to give you a walkthrough of the Intel booth so you can get a little bit of the experience of the scale and some of the, the uh, excitement that's here on the ground at CES. So I'll have this up tonight, and uh, here's a walkthrough of some of the things that they're doing at the Intel booth. So here you can see the Intel booth, very cool design. And we'll start here looking at some of the netbooks and next generation handhelds that are powered by the Intel Atom processor, getting ever smaller and thinner. Lighter and uh, better battery life with some of the new Intel capabilities and the low power utilization of the Atom processors. Here are some of the next generation smaller handhelds or palm top sized devices, uh, and actually a couple slate devices here. And we'll move over to the uh, display case here on the wall. You can see some of these full Atom powered. Now, some top devices, many of which are running full versions of Windows Mobile that are pocket sized. And these are not smartphones, these are handheld PCs and tablets that we're looking here. Palm tops, if you will. All in one. The new all in one devices that they were just playing at the keynote last night. As well as we have a new second generation. And in here are some more of the palm top devices. Full atom powered running full versions. Uh, as you can see on the screen here, it's running a full version of Windows 7. On compared to the size of my hand here, you can see a very small device. That's a little too bulky for a pocket, but not by much. Not by much. It definitely uh, can fit in a small bag for some ladies. And, and for me, I just wear cargo pants. <laughs> so I can fit my bulkier devices. Still working on it. Yeah. Intel Health Guide. We don't want to introduce Trying to use the uh, application, yeah, trying to improve consumer health awareness. And Here's the Intel Reader application that you can the new Core i5, i3, and i7 series processors. And something of an architect factor. Mobile gaming platform. <laughs> mostly, they, you know, there's not a lot of Intel applications. They're mostly demonstrating how other high-powered applications are being enabled by some of the uh, the available processing power in their newer processes. One of the things Intel is doing is embedding hardware in the, uh, with the new chipsets available for the new core processors that can help to deter hard left theft at the hardware level. And kind of last but not least, I know I did a, a little separate piece on this, but I wanted to show you the giant touch screen that they have that's attracting people to their, their booth over here. It's a giant, actually two giant touch screens powered by a single PC with a single Core i7 processor that um, is enabling giant touch screens that are displaying live pictures from various internet feeds all around the world. So as you can see, you can go up, pick something to touch, and it brings up the world live, a picture of whatever it is that we choose to touch. And as you can see, there's a lot of different people touching at the same time, and it's responding perfectly well to all of us. So 
it allows, I don't know how many simultaneous the multi-touch allows, but quite a bit here. The Intel booth, quite a large touchscreen, cool application, bringing some experience to the Intel booth.